I recently made the transition from thinking that nobody would believe me to uh, realizing and understanding that even simple claims with no uh, basis can be made in court and they are valid until they are uh, dismissed. Well, this is obviously going to be a valid statement. I found it interesting um, in the perusal of my uh, the inventory of uh, different documents. What you're looking at here is um, a recommendation letter that I got from a teacher from high school. Okay. Um, the reason that I find this important, um, and you may too, is uh, it's from 2007. It's about uh, having been in her class um, in the preceding years, and it states her summary evaluation of me as a character and as a person. And uh, I, as I saw it, I figured it would uh, contribute um, to the development of this uh, point. So, uh, as you can see from the first paragraph, he is quiet and reflective, but I knew that he was analyzing and processing as the class worked. So she's saying, it may not have seemed like I was involved, but I was. Um... Okay, vocabulary, critical thinking. Okay, Bryce, in the second paragraph, Bryce was an alternate thinker, and I found him to be very interesting because he did not follow the usual high school trends. His uh, personal dress, music, and philosophy concerning life did not reflect the average teenager. He was a joy to have in class. So here she is. Um, I found that to be uh, somewhat valuable in making my point was a recommendation letter that I uh, obtained several years ago. So upon examination of uh, the plaintiff's history based uh, primarily off of the um, information contained in the email box from late 2007 to early 2008, um, we have uh, built a, a character portrait of Bryce Albiquenzer that uh, confirms that he is a self-reporting sex offender who happens uh, to be a Wiccan who noticed his birthday on his birthday, um, who happens to write poetry which included a different thing about opposition and then another one about dimensions. And then beyond uh, Wicca into um, alternative uh, psychedelic culture, both and um, who self-identifies as Rose at the time, who happens to have somewhat different eyeballs, I guess, um, who is listening to um, tracks such as the one included from Great Malenko uh, several months on Bond two months before uh, the release of Opaque Brotherhood. 